Hey everyone, this is Henry. Um, I have, I'm looking through your discussion prompts and it seems like the question that comes up the most is uh, the horseshoe fallacy. And so this is a good question because this is something that um, in our everyday discourse we appeal to it so often to, to argue for where this particular position should either be heard or not be heard, etc. But uh, with the horseshoe fallacy, also known as the middle ground fallacy. So I, I see some of us have been trying to Google it, not finding much. You might find more when you look up the, uh, the middle ground fallacy. Uh, but the idea is, is when you engage in the middle ground fallacy or the horseshoe fallacy, you argue that something is good because it is in the middle of two things. It's not good because, well you have particular reasons that it's good. The reasoning that you're relying upon is it's in the middle of two other things. Um, and often those two things are called extremes. Um, however, they, so one, one criticism here is they might not actually be extremes. It, there might be a reasonable position and an extreme position and the thing that's being argued for is in the middle of those two things, in which case, well, there's no guarantee that it is the right position um, at all. And so what being aware of the horseshoe fallacy hopefully produces within us is this demand to say, well, we shouldn't just listen to what a mainstream source says because it's mainstream, but instead we need to take a mainstream source and say, okay, did they use good reporting? Did they use good reasoning? Did they use, uh, you know, good facts, etc. Rather than, well, it is in the middle. And then likewise, there may be positions on the left uh, and positions on the right um, that we might dismiss by means of using the horseshoe fallacy, um, because well, it's not mainstream, so we shouldn't have to think about it. Whenever that position on the right may be well founded. It might have good reasoning. It might have good empirical data to back it up. Same thing with something on the left. We have to actually do the work and evaluate the position on its own merits, not just because it is the midpoint between two other things. Um, so to recap, uh, middle ground fallacy. We have no reason to think, no proper reasoning to think that because a position is in the between of two other positions, that it's automatically a good one. That's the key thing. Then the thing that we want you to take away from it is because we throw that away, we then have to evaluate all of the positions we come across. And in this logic class, all of the arguments we come across on their own individual merits. And if they fail, right, they use bad reasoning or they have bad premises, we need to throw that away, whether it's in, on the right, in the middle, on the left, etc. Um, the last thing is the middle ground fallacy, the horseshoe fallacy, is a way of, whether we realize it or not, it actually encourages the status quo because it says, okay, if, if what we're normally doing is mainstream, well, and that's to the left, I don't know if this is left or right, the way it's shown on the screen, uh, but if this one's to the left, this one's to the right, those are automatically wrong because they're not in the middle. Well, the middle ends up being the status quo, the th way things are, and it might be the, the case that the way things are not, is not okay. Maybe things need to change. Maybe they need to move to the left or to the right. Um, but we actually need to go through that work rather than just using uh, mainstream discourse to protect the status quo. Um, and, and we've talked about this in terms of media and news, but it applies to a whole host of other situations too. So uh, that is a quick five minute discussion on the horseshoe fallacy, also known as the middle ground fallacy. I hope you find this helpful. Um, if not, Send me messages, let me know, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye.